Hello guys, this is Sib Sankar. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today I will be discussing one important chapter of organic chemistry that is the carbohydrate. You can see here. And uh, this chapter people are very scaring with this chapter and they escape from this chapter. And uh, different and many questions are asked from this chapter in different competitive exam and board exam also. So from today's lecture and back to back some lectures from this chapter. If you watch this chapter and watch this video, then I can make sure that you can attempt any question from this chapter. Now let us start. Uh, this chapter and one thing more if you like this chapter and like these videos and if video this video is helpful to you subscribe this channel and you can like this video also thank you now let us start about the carbohydrate okay actually our body or any living being is consists of different types of biomolecules like carbohydrate, protein, fat, amino acid, many more. But among these, the protein and the carbohydrate are the most important constituent of our diet. Okay. So, now let us define this carbohydrate. The general formula, the general formula of carbohydrate is CX H2O whole Y. Okay. So from this general formula, if we write the start the formula of the glucose, we already know that C6 H12O6. We know that is this is glucose we have seen in our uh, lower class. Okay. If we fit this formula with this general formula, this one, we get C6H2O whole 6. Okay. And one thing, if we fit this general formula, if we fit this formula of the acetic acid with this general formula, we get C2 H2O whole 2. Okay. So this this as formula of the acetic acid can fit with this general formula of the carbohydrate, but this is not the glucose. Okay. One thing more, if we fit this general formula of Ramnose. Uh, C6 H12 O5. So this is the formula of the Ramnos. Okay. So this formula, this formula cannot be fitted with this general formula of the carbohydrate. But actually, this is the carbohydrate. Actually, this is the carbohydrate. But it cannot fit with this general formula. Okay. So, so what is the conclusion of that? The conclusion is that this general formula is very broad. It cannot define the carbohydrate. Why? Because some, some formula is there which is fitted but it is not the carbohydrate and some formula which is not fitted with this general formula but it is the carbohydrate. So this general formula is not the ultimate definition of the carbohydrate okay so what is the definition of this carbohydrate we can define the carbohydrate in a formula like a polyhydroxy a polyhydroxy aldehyde or ketone or ketone which is optically which 
which is optically active. Okay. So this is the definition of the carbohydrate. If we draw the structure of the glucose, if we draw, then you can see here that here how many chiral center is there? One is chiral center is there, one, two, three, and four. Four chiral center is there. So this compound is optically active, and this is the poly, this is the aldehyde group. Okay. And this is polyhydroxy means four hydroxy group is there. Four five five hydroxy group is there. Okay. So this is the definition of the carbohydrate. So this is the structure of glucose. Okay. By the time being, you will be able to write the structure very fast. Okay. Uh, at the end of the chapter, you can also write any structure of this carbohydrate. Okay. So now let us classify the carbohydrate. Okay. So depending upon the monosaccharides obtained on hydrolysis, the carbohydrate can be classified in four broad types. Let us discuss one by one. Now first Four, kind, four types of carbohydrates are there. The first one is the monosaccharide. Monosaccharide. Monosaccharide means mono means one, mono means one. Okay, mono means one. So the monosaccharides is a class of carbohydrate which on hydrolysis cannot give any smaller unit of the carbohydrate. So this is the smallest unit of the carbohydrate. So this, this is called the monosaccharides. Okay. So like if we draw the example glucose, fructose, fructose, they are the monosaccharides. Okay. And second class is the disaccharide. Disaccharides. Okay. So disaccharide means di means two. So which the disaccharides is a class of the carbohydrate compound which on hydrolysis give two monosaccharides unit. These two monosaccharide units may be same or it may be different. Okay. So, as for example, sucrose. Sucrose on hydrolysis. If we hydrolyze this, then we from that we get glucose plus fructose. So, sucrose is a very good example of the disaccharide. Okay, because from the hydrolysis, we are getting the two monosaccharides unit. Okay. So third type is the oligosaccharide. Oligosaccharides. So what is the definition of the oligosaccharides? Now oligosaccharides are the class of the carbohydrate compound which on hydrolysis give 3 to 10 monosaccharides unit. 3 to 10. 3 to 10 monosaccharide units we are getting. So, these are the called the oligosaccharide. Let, let us draw one example of oligosaccharide. So, oligosaccharide may be uh, trisaccharide, it may be tetrasaccharide, it may be pentasaccharide. Okay, from, uh, from 3 to 10. When trisaccharide to trisaccharide to decasaccharide. Okay. So one important example is of trisaccharide is the raffinose. Okay. And tetrasaccharide is uh, stachyose. Okay. This e example is very important for different uh, competitive exam. That is raffinose, trisaccharide is raffinose, and tetrasaccharide is 
statues and these are the uh, this classification is of the oligosaccharides okay these are in the domain of the oligosaccharides compound okay and the fourth one the fourth one is the fourth one is the polysaccharides okay fourth one is polysaccharides fourth one is polysaccharides what are the definition of the polysaccharides the polysaccharides are the class of the carbohydrate compound which on hydrolysis we uh, yield a large number of the monosaccharides okay so example of the polysaccharides are uh, starch cellulose glycogen gums etc all of you know that the starch is uh, produced in the uh, plant and the starch is stored in uh, plant and when whenever the plant required it can produce the glucose from the starch and similarly glycogen our body store the glucose in form of glycogen and whenever we are requiring it uh, it the enzyme hydrolyzes this glycogen we and we get this Uh, uh glucose from that glycogen and it can store in our liver okay and cellulose uh, is very important uh, class of the carbohydrate compound because uh, it is the most important uh, constituent of the cell wall of the plant okay so this is the classification of the carbohydrate molecule okay now we have now we are discussing about the classification of the carbohydrate depending upon the number of carbon atom present in the main chain and depending upon the presence of the functional group in the carbohydrate molecule let us draw the structure of the glucose here we have seen the structure of the glucose that is glucose and this is the structure of the fructose this is the structure of the fructose okay so here the functional group is the aldehyde here the functional group is the ketone so so this is this carbohydrate is called the aldose and this carbohydrate is called the ketose okay so any carbohydrate compound having the aldehyde as a functional group is called the aldose and any carbohydrate any monosaccharide mainly mainly monosaccharide having the keto group as a as an functional group is called the ketose okay and and see here the number of carbon atom in the main chain 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 since here six carbon atoms are there in the main chain it is also called the aldo aldo hexose aldo hexose hex mean six carbon atom is there that's why it is called the hexose okay aldo means aldehyde group is there that's why here it is called the here how many carbon atom is there one 2 3 4 5 and 6 6 carbon atom is there okay so it is called the keto hexose keto hexose 
Why keto? Keto group is a functional group and hex means six carbon atoms are there and O's mean carbohydrate. Okay. So depending upon the number of the carbon atom present in the main chain and the functional group present in the carbohydrate, it may be classified as aldohexose. Exo. If it is if it is five carbon atoms, then it is aldopentose, four aldotetrose, three aldotriose, and like so on and so forth. Okay. Here also like that. So fructose is a uh, keto hexose. Okay. One thing more we have to know in this chapter that is the what is the D and L naming. D and naming. This naming we have come across in the stereochemistry class. Uh, we are now recalling that if the the lowest number of lowest number of carbon having the highest electronegative atom in the right side that is called the D and highest and if it is left side highest electronegative atom attached to the carbon atom it is left side if it is left side then it is called the L configuration only the, this carbon atom is the determining carbon no other carbon atom is involved in the D and L naming okay only last carbon atom we have to consider if it is in the right side that is D and if it is highest electronegative atom here yeah, hydrogen is there okay okay if it if it is like O is here and H here then it is the L configuration okay okay so this is the D and L name so one thing more I have to add that all naturally occurring Aldo hexose means uh, all naturally occurring monosaccharides are D glucose. Okay, D, D form uh, like D uh, D glucose, D mannose, D fructose, so on and so forth. Okay, so this is the basic information we have to know to classify the carbohydrate. Okay, so now it is the time to know the classification of the monosaccharides we have already seen that monosaccharides okay we have already seen definition we have already seen monosaccharides okay so now we are trying to remember the how many monosaccharides are there okay so So before that, we have to classify the aldohexose, uh, aldose, okay, aldose means uh, we have classified the carbohydrate compound as one is aldose, aldose and another is ketose, okay, aldose and ketose. Uh, today we will classify the aldose okay how many aldose are there okay the first member of this compound of this uh, aldose series is the glyceraldehyde so this is d glyceraldehyde or l glyceraldehyde this is d glyceraldehyde because the highest electronegative atom attached in the right side of the uh, highest carbon atom okay sorry lowest carbon atom okay so that is d glyceraldehyde d glyceraldehyde okay so now if we are increasing the number of carbon atom there from there we can go to the aldo hexose type okay so now we are trying to deriving the structure of the aldohexose okay from glyceraldehyde h o h h2 o h okay 
if we add one carbon atom more then what we are getting then CHO OH is there H H OH okay if this if we if OH in the left side then we are getting what we are getting this one OH H OH H H2 H2OH okay so so we are increasing this carbon atom the OH group in the first one the OH group in the right side and here OH group in the left side okay so this name is the uh, D erythros and this naming is the D triose D triose okay Erythros actually this two OH group is the same relative stereochemistry no that's why it is named the erythros here different relative stereochemistry here OH and OH group different relative stereochemistry that's why its name is triose uh, that we have come across in our stereochemistry class okay so so this is the naming if we add one more carbon atom uh, then if OH group we have right we have right to write in the left side also right side also okay so we we have got this structure that is uh, aldo one one two three that is aldo triage here also aldo triage because three carbon atoms is there right do it three, three carbon atoms is there okay so again we can add carbon atom then we got here like that like OH here also OH and here right side we got one and if we write the CHO the left side we got this this one we get sorry this one we got so okay so the extra carbon atom it has see first in the left side and second in the uh, first in the right side we add and the next one left side we add the OH group okay so 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 this is one two three four five this is aldo pentoge and this is also aldo pentoge okay similarly from here also we get like that if we write ca here OH, OH, yeah. First in the left side, right side, and CHO here, here, and here. From from here itself, we got two structures. Okay, we are go getting this structure. Actually, what we are doing here, we are trying to remember the structure of the aldo pentose or aldo hexose okay so from uh, to re remember that we are writing from that structure to different type of structure okay so so this is aldo aldo pentose all are aldo, aldo pentose and now we will stop in the aldo hexose stage okay from here itself we get what is the structure we can get CHO here the here is same first is this one okay and if we add CHO then here it is same one two three that is same this one this one and this one this one is same this three is same and the last one what if is if we have added first in the right side then it would be left side okay similarly from here itself we get this structure you see here this is same this is same and this is OH and the last one in the right side first okay and then similarly this one is same this one is same and this one is in this one in the left side okay from here 
we got two from here we got two see here from we got CHO here 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 first in the right side first this one first right side and then then it then CHO here 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 then left side okay from here we got two similarly from here also we get, got two see here this one this one this one this one this one this one and first first this one and next here is same same next right okay so this is the structure all are aldohexose because one two three four five six that ch2 ch2 CH2H, CH2H, and similarly. Okay, so this is aldo hexose. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is aldo hexose. So, how we would remember this structure? Okay, how would we remember this structure? One mnemonic is there, like all, all treats. gladly make gum in gallon tanks first all means this one first all mean allos and second altruids mean altros and then gladly mean glucose gladly make mean manos gum mean guloj in mean iodos gallon mean galactose and tang means telos Okay, so by this formula we can understand or we can remember this formula. Okay, so this the structure of the aldohexone we should remember because in different competitive exam and different uh, board exam also they asked the structure of the uh, aldohexone and this we 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 should have re remember this uh, structure of the aldohexane because they will uh, reflect in next chapter in next part of our chapter okay so now we will talk about the epimer what is the epimer see here epimer what is the definition of the epimer okay let us see see here if the compounds if two compounds having the more than two chiral center let us see here cho oh oh and here ch2oh okay let, let us three oh is there let us see three oh is there okay here also ch2oh oh oh and here here oh 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 okay See here, in two compounds, in two compounds, there are more than one chiral center is present. Okay, one one chiral center here, one here, and one here. Here also one chiral center here, one chiral center here, one chiral center here. Okay, but only see here, all compounds two compounds are same only differ in the c2 position c2 position here one two two position two only differ in two position 
or it may be differ in three position the what is the definition of that if the compounds having more than one chiral center having differ only in one chiral center they are called the epimer okay see here the structure of the glucose and mannose here all are same here this carbon atom is same here see in the left side your left side here also right side here right, right side here also right side here also right side okay but this this position is different all are same if one is only one is different that time it is called the epimer this glucose and mannose is called the epimer similarly if we see the glucose and galactose you see here uh, this carbon atom is same this carbon atom is same this carbon atom is same only different this carbon atom c4 c4 carbon atom is different c4 okay this one is same this one is same and this one only this one is different c4 carbon atom this one so we can say that glucose and galactose is the c4 epimer okay here also we can say that glucose and mannose is the c2 epimer okay all differing only in one carbon atom okay so this is the today's class in the next class we will discuss the rest part of this chapter okay thank you thank you very much